Hello everyone and welcome back to the Festival Theatre. It's Graeme here doing my little mini tours again. You'll find me on one of the foyer bars upstairs. Now today I want to focus on the carpet. Now you probably walked over this carpet lots of times but never really thought about what it represented. Well the theatre used to be a chain of empire theatres. So this was an empire theatre. Many people all know it as the empire. So when the theatre reopened, they wanted to hark back to the past so they used elements of that empire, in this case the Roman Empire, and if you closely look at the motifs on the carpet, you'll see there's Corinthian columns, there is a laurel wreath, there's gods and goddesses' heads. It all was inspired from the empire. The laurel wreath in particular, I can go and show you an example of where the inspiration for that laurel wreath came from. So this was the inspiration for the laurel wreath. Now this is a sample of carpet that we found when we were renovating and you see it's got EM in the middle which is Empire Moss. So it was a chain of Empire Moss theatres. Now they, when they had it, it was a most beautiful theatre here. It was a Matcham theatre. Now, Matcham theatres were all around the country. In fact, if you're a Strictly Come Dancing fan, they all go to the Beach Ballroom in Blackpool. Well, that's a Matcham theatre. Now, the theatre here sadly had a big fire, um, but I can show you an example of what the theatre used to look like, if you follow me. Now, this is our secret area behind the dress circle. But if you have a look at this photograph here, this is the Matcham Theatre. Sadly, it's in black and white, but you get the idea. Now, this is the theatre that had a terrible fire. And probably the most famous ghost story in the entire world is in this theatre. Now, some of you might have heard of the man called Lafayette, the great Lafayette. He was a lauded illusionist. Well, sadly, he died in this theatre in 1911. But I'm not going to tell you the story about that because it would take me forever. So you have to come on a tour and I'll tell you all about that. So other traces of the old Matcham Theatre can be seen up here. Now, all around the walls here are the old plans of that theatre. But when the new theatre was built and we were excavating, we found little traces of wood panelling here, so we kept and preserved them. You can see it's sort of a Chinese wood panelling here. And on the other one, uh, wallpaper, again Chinese. Now, Chinese was very popular at the time, because Gilbert and Sullivan had just opened the Mikado. So, chinoiserie was the in thing. And I'm just thinking how wonderful it must have been, you know, to go into all these different rooms. I loved how ladies all got dressed up to come to the theatre. I wish people would get dressed up again. I mean, I think you enjoy something if you're all dolled up. And I think after COVID, I think that we should be celebrating getting all our old togs out and getting ourselves beautified. I mean, jeans and trainers, no. Now, over here, if you have a wee look at the plans, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see them, but you'll see in the old theatre it had a dome on the top. Well, that dome could actually slide back and let all the smoke out, because everybody smoked cigars then. Unbelievable to think about it today. And this other plan here is of the stalls. And you'll see there's a revolving stage, and one, two, three, four, five, six rows of comfortable seats, and the rest are all benches. So it must have been quite uncomfortable then. Also, because of the fire that happened here in 1911 that killed Lafayette, something very important didn't happen. Follow me and I'll tell you what. The very first Royal Variety performance was going to be held at this theatre. 
George V had decided it was about time that the royals were seen north of the border, but because of the fire, it didn't happen. But we did eventually get the Royal Variety performance and the Queen did appear at this theatre in 2003, which was 92 years later. So, thank you for tuning in to my little mini tours. I hope you found them interesting. Now, if you do find that you can give a little donation to help us out, we'd be very grateful. Just go into the emergency page at Capital Theatres. And we look forward to having you back in the theatre very soon. And we can't wait to see all our seats full.